we're gonna transition from this clip to this clip. So the first thing you wanna do, hold down option on your keyboard, click and duplicate the clip. Come up here to the top of the screen, select clip and then select freeze frame. Right click, select new fusion clip. Go into fusion. With the media in one selected, click on the polygon icon to add a polygon node. Come over here to the right hand side, let's invert the mask. Then go ahead and mask out something like this because we're gonna have this transitioning and folding up. So create whatever masking pattern, paper looking folding effect that you want. Go ahead and complete the mask. Then go ahead and invert the mask. Click on the media in one, come up here to the effects, click on templates, search for paper and add the paper edge effect in between the media in one and the media out. Over on the right hand side, go ahead and turn up the border a little bit, then turn up the edge contrast to your personal taste. Click on the paper edge node and add a merge node. Now what you're gonna wanna do is find some paper background, stop motion texture to add to this layer to make it look authentic. And where I get mine is actually the sponsor of this video, which is Envato Elements. For the people that don't know, I love using this website because it basically has everything that I would ever need as a creator that is completely royalty free. And you can sign up on this website for a month or annual subscription. I highly suggest the annual subscription because you're gonna end up using so many of the assets on this website. And not only can you use these assets while you have the subscription, but you can use them after your subscription is done. And it has unlimited downloads for everything you'd ever really need. So with that said, let's head over to the motion graphics. In the search bar, type in paper stop motion. And I'm gonna click and download this paper texture stop motion asset. Once you've downloaded and found your texture file, go ahead and click and drag it and bring it into the node graph. Connect it to the merge three. And now what we wanna do is make sure only the masked out portion has this texture. So in order to do that, click anywhere in the node viewer, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in bitmap. Add the bitmap. Connect the output of the paper edge into the bitmap. And then, and then connect the bitmap to the merge like so. Click on the merge, come over here to the right hand side and click on the drop down next to apply mode. You can go through these and select what you like, but I'm going to select overlay. And now as you see, as the video plays, it will have some texture throughout this transition. Let's hop back into the edit tab. So now let's go ahead and move that clip up just a few frames onto the previous clip. We'll want to trim this one down, duplicate this clip, and we're going to move it over. Move the playhead to the very beginning of that clip. Let's go into Fusion. Now what you'll want to do is make the next part of the paper fold. So go ahead and click on the polygon. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the video. And what I like to do is sometimes just invert the mask just so I can see where I'm creating the paper fold. So I'm just going to do something quick and easy like this. Then I'm going to invert the mask again. Come back to the Edit tab. And then I'm gonna duplicate this layer again and move it over a few frames. Let's go back into Fusion. And on this final clip, what you'll wanna do is basically mask out the entire subject that you want to have pop into frame. And it doesn't have to be perfect because the paper edge effect actually kind of covers up the sloppy masking that you'll do with the polygon node. And go ahead and invert the mask, clean it up if you need to. Let's hop back in the edit tab and clean up these clips just so they all align. So just trim up the clips. So when the transition of the paper fold effect goes into the next clip, you have nothing overlaying and it doesn't look funky. Instead of having it go super quick, what you can do is drag out these layers and really space out the timing of them. So the first one, something like that. And then that way it doesn't happen so quickly. Now here's something that is equally as important as the actual effect, and that is the sound effects. I actually have a sound effects bundle for paper sound effects that has cardboard, crumbles, plastics, and then tears, like paper tears. So for this case, I'm gonna use crumbles and I'm gonna drag them in here. There's a lot of sound effects. There's like 80 in this bundle, but what I'm gonna do is just basically drag it so it's right about to this point. And then when the paper tearing and crumbling is done, I'm going to delete that part of the clip. And now I have something that looks like this. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.